Hey guys, Ravenscare here. Welcome to another episode of World of Ages. And welcome back, Pi. Hey, Pi. Hey, Gunscare. It's Cracker Dude. Not much, not much. Just a lot of building, as you can see. <laughs> a lot of building. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of clearing of grass. <laughs> um, so, we'll, we'll get stuck into it. Um, we're going to show you guys off the final builds that we finished in the uh, keep, um, which was the blacksmith, the church, and I believe the lumber yard, probably. The lumber yard, which is actually outside the uh, thing, but they were the main buildings we wanted to get done, yep. So, let's cruise on over, I suppose. And, and yeah, you can actually show off the uh, church, since that was uh, your masterpiece. All right. You demolished my masterpiece. <laughs> yes, uh, Pi did. Uh, he pretty much three quarters built a church, and uh, I bashed the crap out of it. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, it's just a. Hey, um, I, put the, I put the crosses on, so that's my contribution. Yes, I did like the white crosses with the wooden border. So now he can't winch that. He doesn't like the uh, wall with the wooden border. So it's got a, it's got a purpose. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's. Yeah. Just a pretty, just a pretty basic design. Oh crap! Oh, upside down. Crap. <laughs> great, great start. Fantastic start. You can see that. So yeah, just a basic design. Church, um, stone, wood, wall, carpet. Um, the inside's just done up with a couple of beacons around the outside. Did a quartz um, stone altar. Which I think serves the purpose quite well. A couple of redstone torches. Um, Those yeah. banners were actually tripping out whenever I looked down. They came to flicking. That's kind of weird. Anyway. They're actually pretty cool because when I put the second banner on, they actually attach underneath it. So it gives you that sort of layered effect if you can see from the side. Oh, that's why it's flicking. I just didn't realise there was two banners. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I didn't realise that. That's cool. Yeah, because I think I'm you... thinking between each, each the front and the top one. All right, okay, that's cool. That's all right. Because you can custom design banners on the side of castles and all that sort of stuff. I'm pretty sure. I haven't had a crack at it yet, but yeah, that's why. It's pretty cool, actually. Don't mind that. Yep. Some creepy old guy in the picture that's at the me. back wall. Yeah. Um, the ladder that goes to nowhere. Sort of it's supposed to go. Well, it's not meant to go all the way up, but. <laughs> Just to show that it can it can go all the way up if, if we wanted it to, but it's part of the build it doesn't. Anyway. Yeah, and you can't actually jump onto it, but you know, hey, we're in great anyways, we can get on it. <laughs> yep, that's exactly right. But yeah, the bell tower. Across yeah. the side. Yep. So the bell tower at the top. Um, I've yeah, been doing. I've been doing. I've got I've, the other cross on top. Yep. Just a basic, not just stone, not stone. Um. Wooden fence. Wood. That's yep. it. That's it. Wood. Yep, not bad. Very cool build. Alright, so the other one we've got obviously was the blacksmith. And surprisingly it's actually a very simple build. It's just like a basically a simple little three by five, I think. Yeah, three by five, that's a good guess. Um, little house and we just added the uh, little stone area it's for you know the furnace and the so the, all the blacksmithy stuff. It was a very quick build. Actually, I think it took us like what, 15 minutes, if that. Yeah, if that. It was very yeah. quick. It actually, it's turned out though, it's surprisingly really, really well. It's really good. I like this one. I like just I like all of them, but just surprising how quickly we got this done. And yeah, it just turned out so perfectly, almost from the get go. But yeah, have a quick look inside. I know scared went in here, but uh, yeah, just, just a simple bed. And like just to, just to sort of um, damn, damn rain. Yeah, cheer um, that's it. it. Yeah, just bait. Like we just. Uh... <laughs> it's gone. Eventually. Um, I've used some black coal on the base, just some coal blocks, just to give it that sort of burnt look, and used some furnaces across the back, um, and then just using some paintings just to get the. The uh, tool tools on the wall, yep. couple, of, couple of swords, armor stand. Yeah, that's one good thing about the uh, John Smith text pack. It does have those extra paintings that you know you can actually look like you got tools 
and stuff floating around, which is absolutely really cool because one thing the, the obviously vanilla Minecraft does have is obviously the armor stand, but there's no weapon stand, which is kind of stupid, but anyway. Yeah. So yeah. they start to sort of show them off. But nice. otherwise, yeah, that's the obviously the, the the furnace there and there's the building. It's just turned out really well. Very, very simple build. And that is, oh, sorry, I was going to say that, that's basically everything inside the keep now. Yeah, we did. All, all the buildings, everything's all completed, apart from probably the furnishings inside the keep. They haven't done anything there. Um, the only thing I did move, I moved the well from the front door to the back here, um, just so it was a bit tight at the front door, just uh, in regards to having it next to the market. So we actually put, um, no, yep, yep. put it, I just put the tree in that spot there. We were going to put a wagon, build like a little wagon in here. We might, we, we, we might do that. We might not. Yep. Yep. And so yeah, the only other thing now is, well that's obviously the sawmill which we looked at uh, last episode, but this is now the little lumber camp, camp I suppose we can call it, with a little hut. Um, just the uh, piles of the logs there. It's actually quite a cool little look there. You've got the um, rail track over the top to make it look like it's just strapped down, which is kind of effective. Looks really good. Uh, but this is just the building here, a quick pan around. Very simple. I actually made it, I kind of screwed up when I was doing it because I kind of made it a bit big. <laughs> I wanted it just like a small hut. But um, yeah, as I said, it's a very simple build, nothing complex about it. And inside, you've got like just a little kitcheny type area, little furnace and a little cauldron with water in it. And here you have the two bedrooms which it was just all open, but I thought, well, since I mucked up and made the roof, you know, essentially too big, I thought, well, let's just see if I can enclose it. Nice, simple little room. It's only like two by three, each in the rooms, and then you've got a nice storage area right yeah, here like, on top. And I like that. And it can turn out quite well. Yeah, I like that. That's quite, quite effective, that little loft area. It's cool. Yeah. You can store all your extra gear and everything up there. Very cool. It's quite good. Recovered from uh, almost a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it. We did change. We, did, we, we so didn't put the trees. Yeah. Yeah, we just put some logs and stuff like we said we would. We didn't put the crane over the top of the wall. I think the build was going to be a little bit, wouldn't have fit. So we ended up putting in a, um, like a platform here with a door where you can, they could actually hook and drag them up. drag it through the wall and then because we, if we did the crane or we did some sort of other um be too close to the land and obviously that can be invaded through this back door <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and i think it's also because there's not much space there's really not like about two or three block area to work in it would make it a bit hard to try to get a decent sort of crane to fit in there anyway so in the end we just went for a very simplistic version to just the door yep Okay, so it's the uh, that is literally the keep complete, and it looks pretty damn impressive, if you ask me, of course. For a couple of novice, um... <laughs> novice builders, yeah. Taking inspiration of a couple of other sites, but um, yeah, I think we're cranking along. I've done a couple of couple of episodes now on some some building tips, just on how to build. I think the last one I did was the mill. I've done the archery range. Um, that did some like the fire, how to do the fire lights and stuff like that. So I'll probably end up yep. continuing a bit more of that sort of series, I think. Um, might do the church. Um, but I think what we've got left to do is a couple of houses through the edge of the moat here, leading up to the mine. Um, we've got the farm still to do. Um, we've got a more, bit more planning out to do on this mill on this side. Uh, I think that's pretty much done there. Maybe a couple of houses through the middle here. And that'll that almost do this area and I think what we're going to do after this well, after that episode's done is probably break off to do our pet projects so I'm going to head into the woods that way Pie's going off which way that way that that way somewhere yeah I'm going to be working on the uh the docks which is way off in that direction but you know hey it'd be fun and I'm going to end I'm going to end up in the forest and do some sort of elven build um sort of magical sort of area uh, up in the right and deep in the forest so I've already started planning that out and that'll be um, and then we'll probably come together probably once a week I think and just uh, go through each each build as a as a combined 
video. Yep, sounds good. I think that's about it. All right. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, the look at the constructions work that we've done on this. And, so yeah, so leave plenty of comments, likes, and all that cool stuff. And <laughs> someone's left plenty. And, yeah, so that's it. Don't forget to leave plenty of comments and all that. And until next time, as always, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Talk to you next time. Thanks, guys.